I want to do a drawing for you. Now, normally I'd use a whiteboard, but I don't have one here. So I'm going to do it on a piece of paper uh, that you'll be able to see. And I'm, it's going to bring this whole fear thing to life and how it keeps you where you are. Let's go. Okay, so I hope you're gonna be able to see this okay. I want to illustrate through an image fear because I think it's really powerful so we can see really what's going on. So we're gonna start here. Um, and basically, this is where you are now, where you are now, okay? So if we think about where you are now and where, where you want to be. So then up here, this on this at the top here is where you want to be. You want to be. Okay. So where you are now and where you want to be are obviously two different things. And you're trying to progress up through this. And this massive bit in the middle, this is fear. That in the middle of where you are now and where you want to be is what's holding you back. Fear. This big bad boy right here. So let's take, take some examples. So, okay, let's say where you want to be is you want to run a marathon. I mean, how cool would that be? This was one of my dreams for ages. Run a marathon. What about you want to run your own business? Okay, so that's here. You want to be a hip hop dancer. You want to, so there we have, okay, three things where you want to be. You want to run a marathon, you want to run your own business, and you want to be a hip-hop dancer. Nice, okay? Now, where are you now? Right, well, when I tried to run a marathon, before I got through my fear, I was not a runner. Not a runner. Okay, you want to run your own business? <laughs> no business. No idea. Basically nothing here, okay? Hip hop dancer, you've got two left feet. So that's how you would describe yourself when it comes to dancing. Now, the reason, in order for you to run a marathon, you have to go from not being a runner, you have to go from here, and you have to get through fear. You have to move through fear. And if you don't ever run that marathon, the reason you didn't run it was fear. If you want to run your own business and you're here, you have no business, no idea, nothing. You have to move through fear to run your own business. If you want to be a hip hop dancer, and right now you would classify yourself as such a terrible dancer, you basically have two left feet. You have to move through fear to be that hip hop dancer. And if you choose, because in life you always have a choice, if you choose to not run a marathon, to not run your own business, or to not be a hip hop dancer, you have done so because fear has held you back. You've let fear control you. You've let fear be the reason that you haven't moved from not being a runner to running a marathon, from not running a business and having no idea where to start to running a business, from having two left feet equivalent of when it comes to dancing to being a hip hop dancer. And the fear that's in here is gonna be different for all of us. 
But for most of us, at some point, the fear in here will be the fear of what other people think of us. But fear is what will keep you hold, it will hold you back. Fear is what will keep you playing small. Now we have established that this in the middle is fear. Fear is what is holding us where we are. Fear is what's stopping us to from becoming our, the best version of ourselves, from reaching and achieving those dreams and goals that we really want. In that, it's worth knowing that there are, that, that fear can induce three different types of pain. And so the first one is what they call loss pain. So it's the fear of losing something. So the fear of, losing friends or stability or security so so often the fear is surrounding things that you know we already have and we don't want to lose them because what happens if the outcome of this jump through fear to do something loses us something along the way so that is one of the first fears quite often that's associated with kind of with business uh people you know the fear of losing the security from their current income job or whatever that might be. But the second type of pain in fear is process pain. So when you want something that's on the other side of fear, let me ask you a question. Do you think it's going to be easy? No. No, it is not going to be easy so therefore the process is going to be hard it's going to be so freaking hard it's going to be harder than anything else because this is the thing that is fearful for you that has kept you here that fear that process is going to be hard sure sure it's going to be so hard and often we're scared of that we're scared of the the hard work and you know we don't really want to do that and so that is something that will is a pain that is involved and is part of fear and the third one is what they call outcome pain now outcome pain is the the kind of fear and the pain that what happens if it is no better than what was before what happens if it, it, it wasn't worth it. What happens if all the loss you've experienced and all the hardship you've experienced wasn't worth it? So when we have fear, there are normally three pains within it. There is the, the loss, there is the process, and there is the outcome. And those are the things that will keep you where you are, that'll keep you stationary. And it's sometimes, if you can identify those things within the things that are holding you back, within the fears that you have then that can help you take control of them and move them aside and and take ownership of them but know that nothing in life is easy like nothing is is going to be straightforward like there's always going to be loss there's always going to be opportunity cost there's going to be trade-offs there's going to be for this i lose that and for that i lose this but you have to follow your heart, follow the things that are ingrained there and that you want and go after them and just try not to let the fear hold you back because it will, that's its power and it has power over you, over me, over all of us.